Over the past year, Microsoft has seen an incredible bullish move of over 52%. In this video analysis, I'm going to look at the technical aspects and whether or not we are likely to see further strong moves in this stock. So let's uh, first of all start by looking at the S&P 500 so we can get an overall view of how the market is performing. Then we're going to move over to the analysis for Microsoft. So we have the three screens set up here. So we have the monthly time frame in the top left hand corner. The top right hand corner is the weekly time frame. So on the monthly, we have major levels of support and resistance displayed on the chart as you can see by the horizontal lines. And the weekly time frame has the moving averages, the 50 simple moving average, the orange line and the 200 simple moving average, the black line, and we have trend filter colors. So green when we are seeing bullish moves, red when we are seeing bearish moves, and gray when price is pulling back or an area of consolidation. The chart stretched along the bottom here is similar to the weekly. So we have green, gray, and red bars for the same reasons, but we also have the addition of the 20 simple moving average, the blue line here. So let's first of all look at the monthly time frame for the S&P. So if we look back at this period here, 2009, March 2009, and look where price is right now. This long-term move has been bullish. So price has been in a long-term trend to the upside. It did experience a, a very deep decline once it hit this high back in January 2022. Price declined by by around 27%, and this decline went all the way through to October 2022. Since then, we've seen a recovery in play where price has been moving to the upside. It came to July when we saw another correction come into play. So from July up until October 2023, price was pulling back but the bullish momentum seems to have resumed so far for November. Price is now pushing towards the all-time high here at $4,815. On the weekly time frame, the bars are green at the moment. Well, this past week closed green, indicating we are seeing bullish momentum. Price is above the 50 simple moving average and the 200 simple moving average, which is what we want to see in a bullish trend. So we had this decline from July, which I mentioned on the monthly time frame. Price then came down to the 50 simple moving average and found support around this zone before bouncing off this area and moving back to the upside. And if I go down to the daily time frame, the bars are currently green. Price is above the 20, the 50, and the 200 simple moving average. Again, we want to see the bars above moving averages to indicate bullish momentum. We had a gap up on Tuesday, and following that gap up, price hasn't been able to continue the momentum, but price is still looking strong here because overall, the candles are above the moving averages and the long-term trend remains bullish so what we want to see going forward is for price to continue rising first of all we would need to see a break above the july high at four thousand six hundred and eight dollars and then if i just zoom out we want to also see a break above the all-time high which was set back in january 2022 which i mentioned on the monthly time frame and we want to see a breakout of this level and if we have a breakout above the all-time high then we should see a strong bullish surge in the overall market. So let's go um, to the chart of the day, which is for Microsoft. Now, Microsoft on the monthly time frame, as you can see, has a very strong, uh, good, strong history of trends. So we, if we look at this trend, uh, we're broke above the resistance here. So this resistance at $37 price broke above this level around 2018 and since then has continued to move to the upside up until it reached this high of 300 around 350 dollars in november 2021 and following this high we had a very deep decline so price moved down by 38 percent uh, to this low at $213 in November 2022. So price uh, from this, in this period declined and then started to recover from November 2022. Here we can see a move to the upside. We had this fake breakout in July. 
This is why we have strategies to confirm a trend continuation to avoid jumping in when we have fake breakouts. But then in July, we had this fake breakout price, then moves back into this wide area of consolidation. It moves sideways for a few more months and only recently has it broken out uh, once again. So price is looking strong for November and is currently creating new record highs. The next major level of resistance, we could see some resistance around $500, but the next major level would be the $500 round number if we continue to see a trend forming in this stock. On the weekly time frame, the bars are green, indicating bullish momentum, and it's above the 50 and the 200 simple moving averages. And on the daily time frame, the bars are currently green. Price is above the 20, the 50, and the 200 simple moving averages. So all three time frames are indicating bullish momentum. We're now just waiting for a nice clean pullback, and then the second breakout should confirm a bull trend continuation. So patience for now for Microsoft, but because this stock has performed really well in the past, it's highly likely to perform really well going forward, which is why this stock is high on our watch list and has the potential to trend all the way up until $500. So ensure that this stock is also on your watch list as well and ensure you catch the opportunity to enter a position in the stock once a breakout occurs. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification icon so that you can catch all of our time sensitive videos as soon as they are released for you to watch. See you all on the next video analysis.